What's going on guys? In today's Chill Chair Review, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new massaging office chair, which I'm sitting in right now, uh, which claims to reduce stress and tension throughout the body. Uh, this is gonna increase focus, productivity, and mental health as a whole. And if these claims are true, this chair could be a game changer for work from home professionals around the world. So in this video, we're gonna investigate those claims, check out how the Chill Chair really works, and answer the question, is the Chill Chair worth it? If you decide at any point to purchase a chill chair for yourself, check that description down below uh, to get a coupon code and affiliate link. I might get a small kickback at no additional cost to you. Let's dive in. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, let's address the elephant in the room. This is a mental health channel, not a furniture review blog. So why am I even doing a review of Chill Chair in the first place? Great question, so glad you asked. Over the last few years, I've been very fortunate to be working for myself as an entrepreneur slash content creator, whatever silly name you wanna give it. Uh, but unfortunately, this means I spend a lot of hours hunched over in uncomfortable positions. Uh, and in a couple of years, I don't wanna look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. So I have actually started genuinely searching for and investing in all kinds of little neck and posture fixing devices because like I said, I just don't want my health to suffer over time. I was in the market for a new chair. I saw this one advertised and I said, damn, I could kill two birds with one stone right here because I need a new chair and I can actually pitch this as a stress relief device because the fact is when you're carrying a lot of tension in your body, if you have all knots in your back, you know, if, if somebody gives you a massage and they're like, man, you got hella knots back there. The fact is, our brain takes cues from our body, so it sees this tension and it says, hey, if the body's tense, maybe I should be tense, maybe I should be stressed out. It, it must know something I don't know, and as a result, we feel more stressed out and more anxious on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, I think that's how I'll justify this video being on my channel, and if this passive solution to mental health issues uh, also doubles as a way to get a daily back massage and booty rub for free, we'll just consider that a happy little accident. First, let's take a look at the chair itself. The chair is obviously a very sleek, aesthetic, cool design. It's just an attractive chair. I obviously got the blue color here and I got lucky because it almost perfectly matches the color of the wall behind me. But there are a variety of color options out there and they all look great. When my chill chair first arrived, it was super easy to set up. I think there was something like three screws to put the whole thing together. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of flexing a little bit on social media. I posted some stories of myself enjoying using the chair and my friends ate it up. They wanted to know what it was, where they could get one, how much it cost. And then like the next day, I got an instant dose of karma. Because I live in Austin, Texas, when we get even the tiniest bit of snow or when it freezes, all the infrastructure falls apart. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, I lost power for like 26 hours. So I was sitting in the dark and the cold and the only thing I had to occupy my time was the chill chair because I had fully charged it previously. So I was literally just sitting in the dark getting a massage and I was so grateful that I even had something to do. So yeah, that rechargeable lithium ion battery is pretty good. It held me over for a few hours and just gave me a little comfort uh, during an otherwise awful situation. But I still haven't even talked about the massage itself. You can debate me on everything else I've said about the chill chair, but one thing I will not accept debate on is the fact that this massage is good. It's so much better than I was expecting from a massage chair, from just some rollers. Uh, there's a bunch of different modes into it. I think eight different modes that can target different parts of your body and do different types of like kneading and it feels good. This thing was breaking up knots in my back that have probably been there for years. The recommended usage I think is for like 10 minutes at a time. And when I first got this thing on the first day, I'm gonna be honest, I probably used it back to back <laughs> for like a few hours. I was pretty addicted to it. Uh, as a result, the next day, my back was so sore in a good way. Kind of like when you do a, a back exercise at the gym after being out of the gym for a long time, all that lactic acid or whatever you call it, was just broken up. I don't know if that's the scientific explanation behind that, but I felt good. 
So imagine all the time you spend doing work or watching TV or playing video games, sitting in a chair, uh, and now imagine all that same time being spent actually productively breaking up that tense muscle tissue and getting an awesome massage. Whether you've got knotted muscles in your back or you're just feeling a little bit lonely and need some human or machine touch, the chill chair has got your back. And like I tell all my dates, no massage is complete without a good booty rub. Vibrations in the seat itself target the lower body, helping to reduce stress and tension further. Now the massage rollers in the seat don't go quite as deep as the ones in the back and neck area. And if you think about it, there's actually probably a pretty good reason for that. But I'm not toxically masculine enough to pretend that it doesn't feel great. And the last feature of the chill chair that I really want to talk about because I really like it and I think it can easily be overlooked is the zero gravity recline feature. Now, if you don't already know zero gravity recline in general, this can be found on mattresses sometimes, on other types of furniture, and it's meant to kind of take some pressure and stress off your joints. Uh, and it just feels really, really comfortable. This feels so great to me that I'd rather sit in this chair watching a movie than on my couch, which by the way, that Ikea couch, I think the Landskrona it was, uh, was previously, I'm not a very bougie person, the most expensive thing I owned in my home. Now it's this chair. So if you, for whatever reason, want to rob me, I now prefer you to take my PlayStation 5 instead of taking this chair. The only real drawback to chill chair that I can think of is for most people going to be the cost. I can help you guys out a little bit with an affiliate link and coupon code down below, but even still, that's a big investment. Now, I'm not some big fancy rich influencer. I'm a regular guy and that's a lot of money for me too. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you probably notice I'm sitting in a cheap $10 Walmart folding chair. But the fact is, this is probably why my back and neck were getting messed up in the first place. I really do believe in investing in something that I think is going to improve my physical and mental health in the long run. I want a return on investment, and I think this product is one of those that you get that from. Let's put it this way. How many hours per day do you spend sitting in your chair? A chair is just like a mattress. You spend a third of your life in that thing. You spend a third of your life on a mattress, so you're willing to spend a couple of grand on that mattress because that's a third of your life. You know, we walk around for a third, we sleep for a third, and we sit for a third if you're working from home at a desk or whatever. That's my two cents at least. If you don't want to take my advice, it's no skin off my back. It's not surprising that studies consistently find massage therapy to be an effective way to reduce stress and anxiety while increasing cognitive performance and alertness. And while I couldn't find any research into the long-term effects of booty rubs, anecdotal data suggests that good things follow those as well. I might conduct a study of my own, so if you're interested in participating, shoot me an email.